Hope you're all well. So, today, anyway, I just wanted to show you, it's Saturday anyway, it's about 8.30 in the morning, I'm out early today. And the reason why I'm out early is because I need to plant some flowers in the garden before Anu gets up. Because if I put them in before he gets up, he won't know where they are. And then he won't eat them. But if he knows where I'm planting things, he will be inquisitive and come and eat them. Anyway, I thought I filmed these before, but I didn't. I, I must have deleted the video. So I thought I'd better <coughs> hurry up and film these rhododendrons before they stop flowering. Um, they don't last for very long. And as you can see, some of the petals are already falling on these different varieties of rhododendrons. So I just thought I might show you because they don't last long. They're only sort of like a couple of weeks, three weeks at the most before all the flowers drop off. Um, it has been quite horrible, the weather. Today is quite nice, even though it's still cloudy and overcast, but at least it's, uh, it's not windy. But I mean, it has been windy the past couple of days and it's blown all the blooms off. Um, I can see some new growth growing really oddly there. So I think I might have to go and cut that because uh, it looks a bit odd. It's all gone sort of a bit lopsided. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you the rhododendrons actually in bloom right now. Um, so this is what they look like. So they're really, really beautiful. Um, and they just grow back every year. But I do trim them up. Um, these two had a really good trim. This one and this one. And I trimmed that one because it had lots of overhanging branches. There's a lot of new growth going on inside. And I have more over this side of the garden. But they won't be flowering till next year. So there's some here. And I've done all this bed the other day. So I cleared all this up. So I've made it look all pretty now. Trimmed back everything. Pulled up anything I don't want. And uh, got the dock leaves out of here. But this is all looking pretty. I've got to break these up. So I need to cut, I need to dig these up and spread them around a bit more. So next year there's a lot more of them. The daisies, I love them. So I just leave them. So all the daisies that are usually in the lawn that have seeded themselves in here, I just leave those. And all the sort of rockery plants and everything. But it does look really pretty. Anyway, that's what I wanted to get up to today in the garden is just put in some flowers. So I'll just show you where I'm going to put the flowers in today, this morning, while Anu's still in bed uh, before he gets up. Hollyhocks and the lupins, I need to get them in the garden today. because they... Hello. So I just noticed chickens have been bedding down in here. And here are the hollyhocks that I planted. So there's three back there, and then there's one there, one there, one there, none over there. I've got to um, cut out the brambles I just noticed are growing. Don't want those. There's one here and there's one here. Right, so, and I can't really plant any more brown, um, hollyhocks in here because this earth up here is really hard. Um, I might just try putting something in there that doesn't just, just has shallow roots because um, there's so many roots under here from these trees like this huge one we've got here and here some of them are like there's like loads and if you look at this you can see that the roots you know they're quite near the surface and um, yeah I've tried digging this and it's really really hard so I will only put be putting shallow rooted little flowers in there not hollyhocks but um, I will show you the hollyhocks we're now going to put in the other side of the garden. This I planted up and it's all growing. So we've got a lot of alisum in here. And then I put in some cornflowers. Or love in the mist, I can't remember what. All around here. So in all the little crevices I put flowers. And that's a wild foxglove there. And then there's some more flowers here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the hollyhocks. Garden's looking lovely today. Very, very peaceful out here today. Nice. So it's Saturday morning. I'll tell you the date in a minute because I like to know what date it is, what date I'm actually filming. So it's all 
still today, no rain. Temperature's sort of coldish, but not cold, if you know what I mean. But um, I've got a jacket on at the moment, but I think it'll warm up later. And all these dianthus have come out. Oh, look at that, they look really pretty now. Well, let me just give you a quick tour of the polytunnel. Haven't gone in there yet. Hold on. Quick tour polytunnel. So, sort of muggy in here, but not too bad. Oh, look, you can see a snail on the outside of the polytunnel. The, uh, yesterday, I got a great big snail inside the polytunnel because I could see it on the outside, so I just went to where it was and grabbed it <laughs> and put it on my compost bin. Right, so here's, here's our fig. I think I'm going to give it another seaweed feed um, because it is sharing its pot with all these Livingston daisies. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. I need to go around these onions and take off these heads because it looks like they want to go to seed and we really don't want that at the moment because we need them to do the bulbs first, please. And then, oh, I need to get these tomatoes in. So I've got a list of jobs as long as my arm to get on with. <laughs> but um, let me just show you. So yesterday what I did was I went down this bed because I pulled out the broad beans the other day because they're finished now, completely finished. And I've done, I've got them all and I've put them all in, in the freezer and everything after blanching them. Um, and we ate some raw. Um, but now... We've got tomatoes, so tomatoes are in here, and I've tied them up to my strings. So I have this middle row here, and then I have an outer row, and another outer row. And on this, so we've got the tomatoes in the middle row, even though I should have put them further over to them, towards the middle, the plants. I seem to have put them sort of... oh. Because obviously the broad beans were there, weren't they? So now they're slightly over. But they're, they're in the middle of the tomatoes. And then at this edge are some um, the courgette, bush courgettes. And what I might do with those is just try and... Um, I don't know how they grow. I've got no idea what they're going to look like. So this is an experiment. But they're called bush courgettes. So I presume they turn into bushes. Um... So I'm not sure whether to string them up or not. <clears throat> but what I have got to do is that on the other side, I've got to take these out today. So these have got to come out today, these um, flowers for the rocket. I might just leave one. But today, I've got a squash there. I'm not sure whether to put it in that bed or not. Um, I might not. But I do have in here, I'm going to put my cucumbers so on this side of the strings, I'm going to put some more string on this bit. Can you see that? There. And I'm going to string up my... I'm just going to tidy up this bed a bit so I can see what's what and take off the leaves off that spinach like the ones hanging on the floor so I can have a clear view of what I'm doing and trim up this lettuce. And then we're going to um, tie up these cucumbers so we're putting in the cucumbers on this side of the bed today so that's what I'm going to do um, and the tomatoes are in the middle and then on the other side I'm not sure about the bush courgettes um, whether I should string them up but in but in the gaps where there are no bush courgettes I probably will put in the French beans because they're here sorry if I'm swinging the camera around so the French beans are in here and I need to get them in the garden today, uh, well in the polytunnel today and I need to put on these melons. So I've got to put on the melons, these tomatoes are going to need to be potted on soon. These celery are doing alright. These need potting on now. So I've got a lot of potting on to do. I need to put on, well these morning glory I think I'm just going to put them straight out in the garden. Um, off in a little while but they're in this thing with some other plants oh, I'm just sorry I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing um, yeah I think these 
these have sort of got a bit bigger now, these bulbs on these turnips since I took off some of the leaves. Sorry about that, plants. Oh, I know. <laughs> but I, I just wanted small turnips anyway. These are all experiments, by the way. Everything I'm doing is an experiment. Uh, the peas are coming on nicely. So these are going over now, I think, these flowers. Some of them are. And then we do have some peas developing on this side. So here we have some peas developing. So that's pretty cool. Really happy. Obviously, we're not going to get millions of peas. I've only planted a few plants. I mean, everything we're doing this year is an experiment to see how much stuff we need to like so how many peas i need to grow if i want to have a good amount of peas i mean obviously that's just a small amount of peas um so next year i grow a lot more peas because i like peas and i think next year i'm not going to grow broad beans because i don't really like them very much and i think they're a lot of effort for something that you're not really that fond of and also i've learned not to grow so much salad all at once so not don't grow so much salad all at once because i've grown way too much lettuce and there's only so much lettuce we can actually eat and also the green sprout and broccoli is not something that i'm going to grow again i don't think i will because um to me it's a lot of growth for very little product um, so I'm going to stick to broccoli. I've got some purple sprouting broccoli, so I'm going to see if that's any better. But if it's not better and the heads aren't bigger than this, I mean, the heads on this are absolutely ridiculous size. They're so tiny, it's ridiculous. The amount of growth for the amount of food that you get, it seems ridiculous to me. So I won't be growing that again, and certainly won't be growing it inside the polytunnel. And in fact, the purple sprouting broccoli, I'm going to be growing it outside, um, and let it uh, see how it goes and then over here I think this is a cucumber but it seems a lot later than the others I'm not sure this doesn't have a label on it but I think I'm just going to pop it in this part of the garden here with the others it's very saturated seems to be over watering things a bit it's because I go round and just water everything um, some of the things I think I should back off a bit but I'm going to put them there because these lettuce will be spent soon. Yeah, it's really gungy. So when I pull out these lettuce, um, it'll make way for the for these um, cucumbers. And then I will just sow some lettuce in another bed. A few lettuce, not too many. I think I'm sowing too much of everything and not enough of other things. So it's all learning. Anyway, it's just open the back door because it's really hot in here. And over here we've got our gansias. Um, we need to put them in the garden actually, so I need to dig them out of there. And our potatoes in here. Our potatoes. So these potatoes I put in here back in God knows when last year. Um, oh, I don't even know, remember when. It was October or something. Um, and I just had some seed potatoes and I just popped them in here even before any of this was made. This was the first thing I put in here. Um, and they're just starting to come up. I think they should flower soon. Then we can take them out. Once they're done, we can, um, we'll have a lot more room. And then we're going to grow something that actually needs to go on this bar here. In this bed. Here. So at the front, we will grow something. I've got another the rail at the back. I can tie some string onto that as well. So that, that might be for something that grows tall. I might grow some more peas, I don't know. I'll have to have a look. My hanging baskets are going really well. I've got a nice fly there. <laughs> don't get bees, we get flies. But at least they pollinate the flowers. It doesn't really matter what what comes into your polytunnel to pollinate it, as long as something pollinates it. There's a hoverfly just come to visit. I don't know if you can see it there. He's just landed on one of the Allison flowers. And there's some really pretty pansies in here. Let me show you this one. Look at that. That's a pretty one, isn't it? Lovely. So there are these hanging baskets are all growing nicely. Then we have some more little visitors. Hello. 
Oh, I don't know if you can see that in my... Oh, anyway, that's not what we came here to do today. Let's get on because Anu needs to be let out soon. So what I've got outside is this today. So I've got this bowl with all my lupins and my hollyhocks in. And today's mission is to get these in that over there in that part of the garden. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'll show you it once I've finished. Okay. Hello again, everyone. So I have been working in the garden for about three hours now, um, clearing the bed. So I just want to show you what I did. So today... I have literally just stopped and I have just cleared out all of the shrubs I had in this bed um, and put them in the garden. So I've cleared this bed today. That was really hard work because there was quite a lot of shrubs in there. And I've cleared this bed as well. So tomorrow I'm going to be just tidying this one up. I've just put the spider plants in there and watered them for a minute. And I'm going to move the osteospernums. They're free in here, cuttings that, I'm, that I took um, and they've taken. So I'm going to put them in the garden somewhere. Um, on this table, I've taken everything off. Um, there's the wild plants are outside. I'm going to plant them in the garden tomorrow. And these tomato plants, I'm going to put on into pots and I'm going to grow them in the pots. Um, over here, so this is all clear now, so it's really easy to see what's going on. So over here is my carrots. So the, oh dear, I don't need to water, well that needs watering, that is really, really, really dry. So I'm going to actually put these carrots in tomorrow, as well as these, um, yeah, these very chewed <laughs> looking basil. So I reckon there's a snail around here. Bear water this poor little carrot it's actually turned into a carrot inside there it's actually a carrot so it's actually a carrot <laughs> <laughs> so i didn't even get around to putting that one in the garden anyway i think it was just a stray one so here's all my flowers here so these these are oh there's a bee that's died all the bees are dying you know there's a bee they're dying, they're all dying. There's something going on and the bees are dying. So there's a dead bee. Right, we need the bees, we need the bees. We don't want them dead. I'm, I'm, you know, I've got all these flowers in here to encourage the bees. Oh, there's a bee. We don't want them to die though. Come on little bees, stay alive. Yeah, so I rescued one the other day and gave it a drink, but yeah. Uh, something to do with what they're spraying in the air that's why the bees are dying I can tell you that anyway so that's what I've been up to today in the polytunnel I've been doing loads of work and it's all tidy now so tomorrow is potting on so I've got a pot on and planting inside the polytunnel tomorrow so planting in here oh, with the carrots we're going to put the carrots in along with the with the basil so that it deters the carrot fly hopefully the aubergines we're going to put in here tomorrow um the peppers we're putting in here tomorrow uh so there's a lot going on in here tomorrow um that's why i had to put everything outside today i need to clean this bed just get rid of the weeds that are growing at the front here and give this a tidy up um, tidy up this. These little round ball carrots are actually ready now at the back so I'm going to be taking them out tomorrow so that will be more space that we've got um, so we've got all these aubergines here, we've got a lot I might give my friend some aubergines I gave her some squash yesterday because I had way too many squash and I've put all my squash out in the garden now, the ones I want um, and then we've got these peppers here so I'm going to put the peppers in the squash in these tomatoes these chocolate ones I'm going to put into pots and I'm going to grow them in pots because there's only four of them um, so they're speciality tomatoes um, and also I need to pot on my melons here oh I might just put the melon in the polytunnel I don't know yet um, keeping an eye on all this stuff here 
Uh, these morning glory are growing really fast. I've got a pot on these melon here into big pots. Um, so we're probably just going to grow those in pots. But everything's uh, productive at the moment. So I've taken out what's not produ producing and we're replacing it with producing things. So I've still got two squash left here which I'm going to put in the bed with the rest of the squash. So I'll just show you, I'll show you all the pretty flowers. I'll just show you what I've done in the garden. So I put all these shrubs in this bed and then I had to water it five times <laughs> with five lots of water to make sure they were watered. So they're looking a bit bedraggled at the moment. But there's, oh, there's quite a few plants. I can't remember how many there are now. There was quite a lot to begin with. And we've already got a visitor. But there's no flowers on these yet. None of them are flowering. There's no flowers here. But it looks like we have a lot of attention once there is some flowers. And then here are the squash. So here's all my squash. And I've covered them up with some netting at the moment. We're going to put some hoops on them. But they just need to be getting going. Um, and I won't be covering them up. I've got to go and get some sticks to train them round. Apparently they sprawl. So I'm going to put the other two squash in this bit as well. And then I'll find something else to put in the end bit. So that's what's going to go in here. Look at my compost bins. They're full of all the stuff that I had in the polytunnel. I've taken loads of leaves, which I'm going to use in stews and stuff. But, you know... I only need so much produce really and that's just leaves there's nothing to eat really just the leaves were from the beans which I've done and the um, green sprout and broccoli so that's all that stuff really and uh, yeah so this is productive now so this is a productive bed now because these are really um, important these hedging plants and there's all different kinds, there's hazel and there's some rosy ones, some hawthorn, some different stuff. It looks like I'm going to have to trim a couple at the back there that are flopping. But anyway, so I've done that. That was really hard work. It's been a really, really muggy day today. In fact, I've been sweating buckets today. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and say goodbye to you. Um, but the garden's looking pretty. I've just watered everything, so I've watered all the tubs. Um, yeah, everything outside basically, apart from like the, you know, what's in the ground. But all the tubs and everything, all these things I've had to water. The trees. Um, yeah, I've watered all these. Yeah, and we put a fence up to stop Anu getting into our um, garden over here because Anu is very nosy and he was going in this garden where well, I just put loads of flowers so we put up a fence and inside the fence are some hollyhocks and some lupins at the moment and I've just put a rose in there which is now looking really bedraggled Hopefully it'll revive, but the sun's shining right on it now because the sun comes round here in the late afternoon, early evening. So, hmm, poor little thing. Might have to cut it back so it gets a helping hand to get going again. It'll be all right. It's a dog rose anyway, like a wild type rose, rambling rose. I'm, I'm just, I've just put it there because I ran out of space. Anyway, I'm just going to say goodbye to you. I do have quite a few bees around, which is great, because I do have all these little flowers. So I'm trying to get as many bees to come in the polytunnel as possible. And they love these. The bees absolutely love these. Daisies. What was that? I don't know. Anyway, it looks good to have the garden looking productive now. Look. It's looking good. So I've got my squash in really pleased I still haven't seen any sign of flowers from my <laughs> poached eggplants I think are they gonna flower oh yeah I think so oh 
once they flower this will be a sea of the wonderful yellow and white and the bees are going to love this and then the other flying insects that like pollinating things oh they're going to love that oh that's going to come out soon and then shortly after that I think these onions will be done so we can get them out and that'll be another bed that we can reuse wow everything's getting on well so this is all just my experiment for this year seeing what works what doesn't work oh it's really hard <laughs> anyway I've done way too much lettuce for two people oh too much and we fast a lot as well so we don't eat that much really and look at all this lettuce so this time when I do the lettuce again once this is all bolted because it looks like it's bolting once this is all done when I do my next sign of lettuce I will just do a little bit well I've done that with the rocket I've just done a little bit of rocket not so much rocket anyway I'll turn the camera around and I can say goodbye I just want to say goodbye and please like and subscribe to my channel if you like anything that I do um, I, I love doing these videos for reference for myself anyway to see where I'm get going and what I'm doing and how I'm getting on and the progression of the polytunnel and the garden really um, for our own benefit but if you like my channel then please like and share it and subscribe to my channel and you'll get um, notified Whoa. <laughs> you'll get notified next time I do a video so thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon well I'm going to do probably a video tomorrow because I want to move all the yeah I need to like put some stuff inside the polytunnel now anyway see you again soon and bye for now bye